All right, everybody, we're back at it again here at Southern Motor Company. Today, we got a cool one to go film. Y'all ready for this? Come on, follow me. Let's go. Now, you can kind of see it right over there, right? Now, this is really something kind of special. And uh, it's so special, I even took some notes right here and wrote a few things down about it, right? So... What we have here is a 2009, no, 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 oh, let me back up, whoa, what am I thinking? 2014 Ford Taurus SHO. Now take a look at that, right? So a lot of people, you know, they see a Ford Taurus going down the road and it's just a Ford Taurus. Then you see Ford Tauruses where they are police vehicles, right? Yeah, you know, the cops drive them, which is kind of cool. But then every once in a while, and it's not every day, but every once in a while, if you're a fan of these cars, you'll see an SHO version of the Taurus. So what makes this vehicle maybe more special than just a regular Taurus that maybe your grandmother has or grandfather has or maybe the local policeman has, right? What is different about it is it's an SHO, okay? It's got a sport-tuned suspension. It's got bigger brakes on it, so it's got a brake upgrade, as you can tell. We'll look at that. But sportier is what it's really all about. It's a sports sedan. And a lot of people really kind of uh, don't really pay attention to this car so much. You know, people are out there looking at Dodge Chargers, right? They're like, oh, I want a sporty four-door American car. I'm looking at the Dodge Charger. Chevrolet, I mean, I guess you could look at an Impala, but I don't know. To me, the Impala is nice, but to me, that's a little more maybe on the luxury side. But if you were looking to get a sporty sedan and you wanted to keep it American and you didn't want a, a Dodge Charger, well, this would be what you would look at, an SHO Taurus. So anyways, let's start looking at it, right? I like the color on it. This kind of dark gray is a nice color. And then I like the black on the grill, right? Looking sweet. The headlight housing is also blacked out. Now I do want you to take into consideration we haven't cleaned the car yet. I drove the vehicle home last night. I surprised my son. He loves, you know, cop cars and all that. I said, son, we got a detective vehicle out in the yard. He came outside and said, whoa, dad, that's the Taurus. So anyways, he, he thought it was really cool. And, uh, and I took him for a ride in it last night and we had a little fun. But yeah, so you got 19 inch wheels on here, big wheels, right? You got Eagle Sport tires. Let's see what we got going on though. We got a 245, 45. Actually, I thought they were 19s, they're 20s. I read somewhere online that we had 19s on it, but these are actually 20 inch wheels. Okay, it's getting better. So you got 20s, you got the four piston uh, calipers there, thicker, bigger rotors. I mean, okay, you got that. Let's keep looking around. The SHO badge, you got the black mirror to go with the black grill. Um, I like the spoiler off the back, that looks good. It's dueled out in the back, very nice. You got your camera right here. Backup sensors in the front, and then it's got sensors in the front and in the back, got that. But anyways, that's the outside, it looks pretty good. It needs a wash, it needs a detail, it needs a wax, it needs some tire shine. But we're letting you see it right now today because we're gonna go hit those streets over there and take her for a spin. Now, before we hit the highway, I want you to see something. It's also got blind spot monitoring. Still got the touchpad there, smart key. Hold on, stay with me. The interior is really cool. It's got leather and then it's got suede. And I like the SHO logo there, that's kind of cool. It's got a lot of screens too, but anyways, here's this. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and crank this butt puppy up. So you hit this two times. Lock, one, two. Yeah, all right, got that. Now under the hood is a 3.5 EcoBoost, which is twin turbo. <laughs> 
twin turbo, right? I mean, we're talking about some power under there. Well, how much power, right? 350 foot-pounds of torque and 365 on the horsepower. My God, that's a lot of power. Hit this two time, open this up. But that means everything right there, the EcoBoost, twin turbo. The trunk is massive. You know, American cars have kind of gotten away from big trunks. You know, when I was a kid, the Lincoln Town car had a massive trunk. I'm liking it, man. It's got a big trunk in the Taurus, and I think the big trunk is great for throwing all your luggage in, but a lot of police vehicles are gonna be Tauruses, and they got a lot of space back here and throw your guns, your bags, whatever, okay? So you got plenty of room back there. I mean, I can really get in here and fit. Now this is kind of interesting. You got this, then you got this right here. You got storage right there. More storage right there. Hold, what in the world, look at this. A bullet. So whoever owned this car, it was either an undercover police officer, like a detective, or somebody, somebody was a gangbanger. Because this is not your bullet that you would actually go hunting with, okay? Um, I'm not exactly sure what size bullet that is, but, um, Harry, what kind of bullet is this, man? Just found that in the car. Like a nine millimeter bullet? Yep, nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. So it might have been a gangbanger that had this car. You don't know. But a nine millimeter is a standard gun for a police officer, right? Like a Glock? Okay. Well, anyways, there's a bullet. We'll put that right back right there. Interesting. You know, another thing that's kind of fun to do is, is uh, when you buy a car from an auction or you trade a car in, I've always enjoyed going in the cars and, and seeing what people leave in there, what's under the seats, you know. You never know what you're gonna find like a bullet. Trunk space, let's check it out. Let's see what we got going on back here. I mean, realistically, I mean, I'm in here, okay? Ugh, it's big enough. Yeah, I mean, this is a big trunk. So, I mean, there's a lot of room inside of here. Not bad. Just put a dead body in here. You know, the old mobsters, they always put a dead body in the back. If we can get out. Ugh. Well, now we got to really use our muscles. Ah, and we're out. Anyways, when you get to be about 39 years old, you'll see why I'm going, ah, you know. Ah, oh, man. Anyways, all right. Let's get out of here. Let's go skedaddle. Let's see what we got going on. Also seeing a little subwoofer right there. You got a Sony stereo system. Plenty of room in the back though, okay, for kids and criminals. You know, you want to lock them up, throw them in the back. But um, it does need a cleaning. You know, it's got some crumbs in here from this morning's uh, McDonald's biscuit. But you got those nice little, uh, you know, headrests. You got rear air. You also have in this particular model, you got rear heated seats, which is actually really nice. Believe it or not, if you're taking your kids off to school in the morning, it's a little chilly outside. Those rear heated seats really come in handy in the back. I cut them off for my kids this morning when I was taking them to school. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop in and drive her. Ah. So, you know, I like all the screens in here, man. Ford really, uh, really's got it looking pretty nice up in here. And uh, anyways, you got your Microsoft Sync. I don't think Ford is with Microsoft anymore, so there's no sync system on the cars anymore. But, you know, let's go and see what 365 horsepower feels like. 350 on the torque. Um, Ah. So the car realistically, I think we need to go ahead and press that, get that going. There we go. Uh, you know, when you get in the car, oh, come on. When you get in the vehicle, um, it's got memory seats and steering wheel is power. So it's it all gets in the position from the previous owner. So you want to, when you buy this car, you're going to want to set up your memory stuff 
so it gets in position for you, okay? Um, Condition-wise, though, the steering wheel feels good. It's clean. It's got the Sony system, which is nice. Start, stop, engine button. You got two LCD screens. Big screen here, which is touch screen. It's trying to connect to my phone right now, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on navigation for a moment. I did take some notes, so... Yeah, so this car actually gets uh, 25 miles to the gallon on the highway and 17 in the city. It does zero to 60 mile per hour in six seconds, which is pretty good. Not bad for a big four-door car that weighs 4,300 pounds, okay? So zero to 60 in six seconds on a 4,300 pound vehicle, not bad. This car originally had a price tag of $39,000 at the car lot, brand new in 2014. So right around 40,000 bucks for this vehicle to get it all decked out and specked out like this. And um, you know, in reality, it may have been worth every penny, right? You know, it's got paddle shifters. Again, it's very sporty. Let's go ahead and we'll talk more as we're driving. We're gonna do our uh, little cruise right down the street here. We're gonna go ahead and roll our windows down. All right. Good morning. You know, there's always somebody out here kinda walking around on the streets. We got a black cat right here. He's eating some grub. You know, probably caught himself a lizard or something like that. Come on, dude, get your butt out of here, you know? Anyways, got it. that's old spooky Halloween house over there. Another Halloween house over here. You know, you go cruising around in these old neighborhoods in old North Charleston, man. You get you get to see some spooky stuff. But again, like I always talk about on these videos, you know, you always seem to run into some unique vehicles parked outside of some of these old spooky houses. But um, anyways, people just love automobiles, and in many cases. You know, somebody would, you know, rather have a really badass car versus having a badass house. Um, that's just how much people like showing off, being out on the streets, and letting you see what kind of vehicle they drive, you know? Um, I don't know. I, I like badass cars too, but I want to have a nice house and, uh, and also have a nice car if that's, you know, a possibility. But it takes hard work and dedication to get all of those things. And uh, anyways, I was gonna hit the gas, but we got some traffic going on, but let's do it. Man. I mean, that's almost like instantaneous power uh, when you hit the gas pedal. That's a really a lot of power. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute and let's just drive. So 39 feet is the turning radius on this Taurus. This thing will whip around a corner pretty quick. It'll smoke the tires off on that 328 right there. That blue is really pretty on the Beamer, but this right here, this is a sleeper vehicle. Um, you would never imagine this car to be as quick and powerful as it is, but the SHO logo on it really kind of kind of throws all that out, you know? You see the SHO and you're like, oh, okay, that's the Taurus SHO. Anyways. Um, it's very comfortable on the inside, so that's that's a plus. You know, the seats feel good. It's pretty quiet in here other than all the talking that I do. So, you know, you can always put it in sport mode right here. You got downshift over here on the left, upshift on the right. So dropping gears on the left, switching gears on the right, 
you know, another thing that's kind of cool, if you can see it right in here, it'll tell you what gear you're in. So I'm in third right now. I'm gonna drop down to second. Car's starting to rev out a little more. Drop down to first. So we're running it first. Let's go ahead and hit it. Wow, that we left that Honda Civic behind us in the dust. Um, that thing, man, this thing really gets up and rolls out. It, it's fun to drive. I mean, I never thought I'd be saying, hey guys and girls, you gotta check out a Ford Taurus SHO or a Ford Taurus at, at, at all. But um, unfortunately, Ford has really kind of started to, uh, you just kind of started to phase out a lot of their sedans. You know, I remember maybe two years ago, you know, Ford was saying, you know, this is when I worked over there at the Ravenel Ford dealership. They were saying, you know, the Focus is leaving us, the Fiesta's going, the Fusion goodbye, the Taurus is going, and and we're and they're they're really just going to stick to trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. And uh, it still seems like they're still selling some stuff. And even Chevrolet even was saying, you know, we're getting rid of the Malibus, the Impalas, and all that stuff. Because I mean, in real in reality, it has really seemed that um, that. That SUVs and crossovers and trucks and all that kind of stuff has really started to, to take over here in America. But sedans are still cars that people like to have. And I don't think we should argue with that. Um, people still like sedans, especially the man that owns our store. He loves sedans, luxury cars. You know, Mercedes, Ford SHOs. He likes anything with four wheels on it that's that's cool and popular, fun to drive, just different stuff. There's the old ice cream truck. But anyways, um, it's definitely got a lot of tech stuff down in here. You got an SD card slot, two USBs, RCAs, cup holders, more cup holders. So you got a cup holder here, two right here. That's kind of interesting. You got a rear blind for the back window. I don't know if y'all can see in the rear view, but check that out if you can see that. Yeah, so you can darken that up. Uh, this car really does need some tinted windows though. Some of these areas we don't want to be hanging out in too much, so we're going to kind of get back down to the store. So towards the end of the video here, right, you're going to probably go, hey man, what's the price on this car? Well, right now, it's got 107,000 miles on it. Which, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got 100,000 miles. I do not know the price right now as we're uh, sitting here driving down the road. We just got the car yesterday. So we haven't had it for very long. But I will list the price in the description of the video. And hopefully that will... Um, you know, give you an idea of what something like this is going to run you in 2020. All your windows working good. You got your old crap handles up there. Sunglass holder up top. All right, let's give it a run for the money. Three, two, and one. Let's mash it down and go. gear, fourth gear, third gear, roll down in second, 
We got her revved out. Let's hit it. Three, two, one. Shift. Shift. There we go. Drop the gear. Pull in. Pull in. Let's drop it. There you go. All right, guys. What do you think of the SHO? I hope you enjoyed it. Pretty sweet ride. It's got some pizzazz to it. Sporty for sure. For a four-door car, I mean, this is pretty cool. Would you drive this over a Dodge Charger though? Let me know. Would you drive it over a Charger? There it is. So if you had the option right now of buying a Dodge Charger 2014 model with the Hemi, would you pick that or would you pick the Taurus SHO V6 Twin Turbo? You may say, oh, I like the Charger better. Maybe not though, after watching this video. I mean, look at this car, guys and girls. It's beautiful it's got a nice look and i can tell you right now if you're still hearing me i could stand out on this road here and watch chargers go by all day long everybody and their mama's got a dodge charger do you want something a little bit different than everybody else and actually i tell you i think ford i don't know about you but i'm telling you i think ford might be a step up than dodge I mean, I love Challengers and Chargers. They're all cool cars. But this right here, I think it may last you a lot longer. And it's it's really got a nice quality feel about it where the fit and finish and everything is really nice. All right, guys, have a great day. Both all these vehicles we talk about are always great cars. Look for the price in the description and come on down and see us at Southern Motor Company, man. If you want something unique, something different, and you want a sedan, well, you just found a great place to come buy one at. All right, guys, have a great day. And as always, hit that subscribe button and please hit the like and we'll get things going for you here on the channel. Have a good one.